Hey guys, what's up? So this is me in the flesh, like literally I have nothing on my face. And this has just been my vibe for like a couple days now. And I'll tell you like why. I actually really like it. Like I kind of just, I don't know, I'm doing like this is what I'm doing lately, like just not wearing anything. Um, and we'll get into into it all. What do you think? Not that I care. Um, but do you see what I mean? Like, I just feel like right now I'm just like cute. I'm just like, I look good like this. So like, why not own it? Like, I don't know. Sometimes my, I'll tell you, um, why don't I brush my hair? <laughs> like my hair needs to be brushed. Um, I don't know. So I've just been doing like no makeup for literally a week. I feel like, I don't know. I basically, well, not really. Cause last week I did makeup for like a few days and I just really like it. And I'm like, why not? It's because of the self tan. Like, and that's the truth. Like, I just look, like, cute for some reason. I don't like how that sun's following me. Like, it really bothers me. The sun really bothers me, like, when it follows me like that. Um, because it makes my hair look, like, stringy. See what I mean? Um. Okay, I don't really, like, know my angle right now. Um, I don't like this pillow here. I mean, it's, like seat is ugly okay like I don't like things in the back seat it looks like trash okay um anyway so this is like me right now I don't know like I'm just kind of like I feel I I really don't like thick strap stuff I think it's ugly I think like thin strap stuff is cuter this is just very but it looks the shirt's cute in real life but I just don't like the top of it so it's not like a good representation of like I just don't like a thick, it look, thick makes me look chunkier, it's chunkier, I don't know. Okay, um, we're gonna get into it today, and I'm not wearing any makeup, I'm 39 years old, so if you have any, any questions about how I look, always remember that I'm hotter than you no matter what, okay, that's the truth, why is there a tractor near me, literally, okay, like, I live in the, I literally live in the country, like, I'm a country person now, I don't know what it is, like, I am a country person, it's the weirdest shit, like, I am... I swear, like, I, my midlife, my midlife crisis is, like, becoming, like, a country person. What does that mean? Like, I know this is not really country, but this is the most country I could ever be. And I just find, but why is there a tractor here? Like, it's kind of, to be honest, it's kind of bothering me. Um, why do I have something in my nose? I do actually do have something in my fucking nose, don't I? Oh my god. What in the motherfuck? Okay, stop. So, um, anyway, before I was really rudely interrupted by that, now I, like, made my nose all red. Um, I'm just, like, country-ish now. I don't know what my problem is. Like, I just am. And I'm just gonna get into it. Like, I'm just gonna, I have so much to talk to you guys about. I want to talk about ingrates. I want to talk about, um, updates and with me. Do we like the no makeup thing? Is it, like, okay, this thing, I really... I like it, but at the same time, I don't, I, I don't like to look like I do zero effort. I also need Botox. Like, ew. Oh my god. Oh wow, it's ugly. <laughs> okay, so I have to regroup. There's literally a tractor pulling up right next to me. I don't you wanna see? Look at this tractor. Like why are I don't understand why they had to come right next to me. Like leave me the fuck alone. I'm not doing anything. I, people always annoy me. I go in the middle of nowhere and there are tractors! I, I'm gonna like why like why did they do that to me? I literally parked in the middle of nowhere. To be left the motherfuck alone because there's construction at my fucking house and then a tractor comes like i don't understand why like i'm not making this shit up how the motherfuck is a tractor here is what i'd like to motherfucking know okay like that's true anyway am i giving the least by not wearing makeup like that's what i don't know i don't know like i cannot be don't fuck with me do you know what i mean like i feel like do not fuck with me when i have makeup on you don't fuck with me but if I have no makeup on, do I look petty? Do I look, not petty, but do I look like meek to you? Do I look like someone that you can try? Because if that's the case, I'm putting my fucking makeup back on. Don't fuck with me. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know. Like for right now, like, like you know what I mean? Like I uh, need to feel like that. This tractor, I'm literally going to be like, what is your problem? Why are you, why is there a tractor? What is that? Why is there a tractor near me? They're coming this way. They're coming this way again. I am not giving the most with no makeup. I'm giving the least, literally, right? Like, am I, like, I don't know. Like, okay, stop. Do you know what I mean? Like, <sighs> this is the thing. I feel like if I cannot wear makeup, it's cute. That's what I get, I'm getting the, that's what I want to like feel like, but same like, 
same same time like is it not cute i don't know okay there's something wrong with this tractor i swear like i don't know what they want me to fucking start yelling out the window because i fucking will like don't do that to me leave me alone and my just let me fucking film my video without making me feel like you're gonna fucking come and tap on my window because you really don't want to do that okay anyway i'm just i don't know where they are they're dude like where the fuck are gone now okay anyway um so as i was saying i live in the fucking country literally i don't know how this happened i just love this area and i told you i hated newport so much for so many reasons and i just like whatever oh i also tell you guys like i might as well tell you because people keep asking about this is like perfect segue because like country right um people keep asking me about the bentley dude i fucking got rid of the bentley okay and it was the biggest like dumb mistake ever the amount of money i paid to get, like sell that thing okay so i'll tell you what happened i so it was a lease for like five years this is the thing like i don't care i know a lot of you guys can spin it how you want that you think i'm broke i have like literally like poor as fuck right i have like, i can't even afford makeup anymore looks like so okay i am kind of the kind of person if i want something i will buy it yes i will the moment i get something in my head i will do it even if it means selling my house they don't fuck with me do you know what i mean that's what how i am i'm not like you who will sit around and the turd on turd in their asshole you know what i mean and sit stagnant i am not a stagnant person i hate that like i hate it so anyway i really want the trigger i really wanted a rolls like i really wanted a rolls because i wanted the stars in the sky for filming that's what i wanted okay but the like it was double it was like double what the bentley was and i'm like no i'm not gonna fucking buy a rolls for the stars in the sky for like dude it was probably gonna be like what 11 grand a month or something and i'm like okay like i'm just not you know what i mean like stupid like whatever i will but like i don't know like i just wasn't i wasn't like i don't know i thought the bentley was fine you know what i mean for like what i wanted to do it was like really pretty inside anyway i didn't drive the bentley a lot in newport even because i didn't enjoy it the thing is with the bentley they don't let you test drive it like they don't it's like you buy it and they're like okay here now you can turn it on the bentley was like a, a hybrid okay like i did cheap out or i got like the cheapest bentley they had just because i wanted it for filming for like class um which was cute for a while but like i didn't like they, okay when you turned it on there was no sound like when i turned this uh, this this car on or like my gt on they all have like an amazing engine sound like when i lock this when i when i turn this this car on the g-wagon and i drive for like a second the, the the locks lock automatically and it sounds like a cocking gun like it's sick like i need that you guys know i need a big dick car i need big i'm i'm big i literally if i was a male my dick would be fucking 12 feet long like it just would be i need the big dick energy in my life like i need everything about it has to be like that you know what i mean and that the bentley was not okay like to also the technology in it like was not it like it was so bad like it was just not it wasn't anything whatever i didn't like the car i wasn't driving a lot i should have sold it with i should have sold it with the house you know people do that they're like okay the, it's the sale the house is for sale and all the furniture in it or the house is for sale and with the car i should have sold the house with the car because that how that car belongs in newport coast like it's a very newport coast car anyway didn't sell it with the house brought it to where i live now and i literally am it's like a fish out of water here like i can't drive a fucking bentley where i live it's so stupid like it looks like i'm a like a fucking drug dealer or it looks like it just is odd it's very odd like people don't really have those kind of it's not the point like i don't care what people have here because i don't like anyone period i just don't i don't reach for that car at all never did use it for class every once in a while and um it does not fit where i live like it's weird okay like it just doesn't like it doesn't it's weird okay it's it's very fucking weird all right anyway so got rid of the car paid so much because it was a five-year lease dude i got so raped on that just because i didn't want it anymore it made me mad that it was sitting in the garage like it literally made me mad i was like paying monthly for that so i fucking just like literally paid a salary to get rid of it um fucking raped as fuck um for class okay for class and that's the truth like i didn't i hated that car i mean it's really bad i don't ever get the the flying spur like it's really stupid like i hate fucking hybrid cars i really hate them they're so fucking gay so anyway um hate and got rid of it so i know you guys are like asking about it and i'm not like everyone's like when are we doing class in the bentley so i was like okay i should so i got rid of the car a couple months ago and like i was pondering or thinking about if i should tell you do i look old like is that what it is do i look old i think i look old 
you notice like my hair is like um hay right now it like i look like trash i look like white trash don't i i look <gasps> i look like white trash i totally look like white trash that's what it is isn't it oh my god i do i literally look like white trash it's like the hair is like not giving the face is like plain it's pretty i can you can tell i have good genes but at the same time it's like why don't you put a little bit of effort into yourself you have no you know what i mean so no i'm not doing this anymore no i tried like i i don't this is not it i need makeup like it's not it's not cute like you're not going to the beach you know what i mean okay so what was i getting at oh yeah did I, what I, I forgot what i was saying got rid of the car oh yeah i knew you guys were asking i was like if i tell if i say anything about it i'm just not gonna say anything whatever like i'm not gonna make, make, make a big deal about it because i knew you guys were like she's broke she can't afford your fucking damn daily anymore like i already know you're gonna do that when i can afford any fucking car i want um and you guys are dumb okay you guys are really dumb do you know what takes you out of a fucking lease you dumb shit okay like you lose you get raped especially on a fucking i just spilled a fucking car the only reason they took the car too we have this guy they're like we could sell cars too whatever the only reason he took the car is because um it was oh yeah it was like that it was like that special edition flying spur or he, or he was like i can't do anything with this like no one wants it i was like what he's like the only reason i can take it though is because it had like all of the extra there was like twenty thousand dollars of extra features in it like the rotating screen it was like whatever and then like the crystal whatever it was like the it was it was like not like the old man version it was like a cool version of it it looked like a rolls but it wasn't um so thank god he was able to take it but i got raped okay like oh my god like literally like it's not a mistake for me because i had i wanted it do you see what i mean i wanted it like i would never i don't make mistakes in my life like i just don't everything is very like what i wanted at the time i did it what i didn't want at the time i didn't do it like i don't have any like regrets about anything ever because i wanted that and i had and i enjoyed it and it was fun for like until i was like wait where, where's the engine in this car like what the fuck is this you know what i mean and it's very funny the way they don't let you test drive the car like until um anyway okay probably because they know um so i have a lot of things to talk to you guys about but yeah we're not doing class in the bentley anymore because someone else has it now i don't know some other poor sucker has the car now <laughs> okay so but yeah the amount of money i got i had to get rid of that like fucking retarded literally um there's a lot of rats on my page um recent last night because i put up a photo of the fourth of july okay so i put up a photo of the fourth of july i have a lot of things to talk to you guys about about the fourth of july and I'm not talking about people who don't live in the United States. I'm talking about Americans here. If you are an American or if you live in, the, in America and you don't and you don't support the 4th of July or you have qualms about others celebrating the 4th of July, um, you are a fucking ingrate little fucking shit. Why don't you get the fuck out is what I like to know. Seriously, I'm not like a white stupid Karen. You're an ungrateful ingrate fuck. Okay, that's the truth. Um, it is absolutely obscene to me for people. Okay. This is the thing. I'm not going to even talk about people who like poor people. If you're like a poor person in LA, in, sorry, in LA, basically in the United States, you prop like, you're going to like blame whoever you can. You'll never blame yourself. You'll never blame yourself. You'll never will because then you have to deal with your shit. You know, I'm not going to do that. I'm not getting into that. Okay. If you want to, if you're like, um, if you are like a poor person and you're like fucking bitter at the country, I don't know why, because this is a free country. You can do whatever you want, especially if you're poor. You have so many fucking opportunities to better your life. And you don't, okay? And you don't. And it's probably because of bad decisions you've made for yourself, which is also not the country's fault. Anyway, period, bitch. But I'm talking to people who reap benefits, bitch. I am talking, let's just talk about people like influencers, wealthy influencers, wealthy people who own businesses, who have reaped the benefits of being an american citizen being in the freest country of anywhere people die to come here literally look at look at the border right people die coming through like south america to get here to better their lives and you little rat ass bitch you little fucking rat ass bitch are going to not celebrate i'm not celebrating the fourth of july okay like oh you why don't you leave why don't you get the fuck out right now and never come back because you want to know why anywhere else you go if you disrespect someone's country they probably do away with you okay they would probably literally think anyone like you're just the most obnoxious ungrateful nothing is worse than a little ingrate nothing is fucking worse than that it makes me so sick so yesterday i was like as always on like memorial day and like fourth of july i like to note who, which influencers 
post about the holidays and which don't. I take note of that. Yes, I absolutely do. I look, do I look like I have a mullet? I literally am like white trash. Like I look like white trash. Okay. Um, like this is the thing. I, I take note of that. I do. And I also notice that like, there's like, there's the biggest fucking nasty bitches. I hate them so much. Ingrate fucks who like are panderers too and try to act like, oh, what's the right thing to do? Like, what's the thing that like everyone's going to like pat me on the back that I don't celebrate? See, I don't say anything on 4th of July. No, I don't. See, I don't like America either. I don't think that we have so much work to do. And like, I'm not going to celebrate it because fuck them. And like, that's what they do. And it makes me so bad, so fucking mad. Like the opportunities, the like the fucking just blessed ass luck that we are to have been born here to like to be an American. Like people literally die and want to become Americans. Um, and you're going to sit around and disrespect the country. Like, do you think I like the way the country's going around? Like, fuck no. It's run by a bunch of woke pieces of fucking crap. They're ruining the country. But at the same time, no, like, I love my, I love America. Like, I have been able to come from, like, a middle class family and do what, I, and literally do this. You know what I mean? Like, whatever it is, I, I'm able to do this. Like, I love this. I love this country. Like, I, it doesn't matter. Like, you should be proud of where you're from. You know what I mean? Like, it makes me actually so sick to my fucking stomach. So yesterday I put up like this picture of like, I had like hot, like 4th of July in my house. And, um, I like had my, my, my parents over like whatever, like, um, a couple friends, Jason's friend, whatever, stupid shit. And, um, I posted like, like just, I posted 4th of July shit, whatever. And I had these rats. Okay. I had rats, little fucking Gen Z ass rats um like saying very rude stupid comments about fourth of july on my post which i obviously immediately deleted and blocked them but i'm honestly it's i'm so embarrassed and disgusted and first of all get the fuck off of my page you little ingrate rat okay you fucking loser okay you're a loser okay and you always will be that's the truth get off of my page i don't want you on my fucking page i am not serious i'm, I'm so serious i am not doing this anymore like the, you guys make me so fucking sick. What losers, losers, okay, come on my page and fucking di and try and disrespect the country. It's sickening. Like, do you think I don't even like the country right now? I don't even like fucking the way, like, I don't like this administration. Obviously, who the fuck does? You'd have to be a fucking communist blind person to see, to like anything. But that's not the point, okay? Have some fucking respect. And if you don't, I don't want you here, okay? That's the truth. They them piece of shit vibes, all right? Anyway. So like coming on my page last night, like do like making stupid, it's like stupid university comments. Like it's obviously, it's obvious you go to some dumbass university, okay, and you're some little like privileged white person piece of shit, okay? And you think you're smarter than me, which you are not, you little rat bitch. Okay, anyway. So you were blocked immediately. Lots of people were blocked. Probably like a hundred people. I think I sat there and I blocked a hundred people. It was funny. Okay, whatever. And I, but I was annoyed because I was like trying to watch 90 Day Fiance. And, but I had to like pause it to block these people because they were just being dumb. Like, no, they weren't being dumb. They were just being the typical, um, they were privileged white American. Okay. That's what you were being. You were being the fucking privileged pandering little shit white American that, um, if we're not on this, on this platform, I would say a lot more. Okay. I would say a lot more. Yes, I would. Okay. Anyway, before we talk about more, I have to tell you guys what happened. I got dissed again for being fat. You're not even going to believe what someone said to me. Shocking. Okay, let me just tell you guys, remind you guys about my promo. Um, This is still going on. My 4th of July promo is going on until Monday. Because <clears throat> I'm not extending it. It's just going on until Monday because of the way 4th of July is this week, this year. It's just weird. Like in the middle of the week. So um, I'm. you guys know about the promo, I'm sure. But I'm here to remind you. That with any order, with any order, you can get um, a free gift, okay? And yes, so there are pearl options. Let me go show you guys my wrist stock. It's so pretty. So this is totally free with any purchase. These are real, genuine pearls, hand knotted and hand strung with an initial of your choice. This is an L. Okay, it's so cute. Gold or silver with real pearls, totally free. I'm wearing my mini um, dream tennis bracelet and I'm also wearing my radiant floor this is 14k gold fill also comes in sterling silver and then i'm wearing my studio 54 um and this is my hand chain this is a special special made um like made to like i designed this and had it made i i if you want whatever you can email me if you want hand chain but this is like custom okay and then um so this let me show you guys the options um where this is free totally free this is the gold spark 
sparkle glitter thread comes in gold and silver and then this is the pearl necklace so this one is an upgrade to ten dollars so basically order anything you want if you want the solid pearl all the way around genuine pearl necklace it's only ten dollars when the promo is over this is going to be 120 dollars um don't miss out so so pretty i've been wearing this every day have not taken it off i love layering it it's like right now pearls are so in and these are real pearls for ten dollars with any purchase if you don't want to spend the ten dollars you don't have to there's other options for totally free like the pearl bracelets totally free i'll show you other things this is totally free i have it stacked with my monarch and then i have it stacked with my do prayers with um this really cute it's like this little prayer hand chain hands and then this lock with rubies, ruby crystals, and there's also green ones you can um, see, but I love this. And then H is for HRH and A is for me. Okay, so let me just show you guys quickly the options. Just so I've already shown them to you, but I figured I'd show them again. I have them on a bus here this time. So the gold, the um, sparkle thread comes in silver as well, and then free. And then I also have a ball chain comes in silver as well. Here's the ball chain with a P on it. I wore this one last week. I love it. Um, and then here is the pearl necklace I'm wearing. Then there's this one. This one's really cool. It's um, half pearl, half chain, and it's really neat stacked with other things. I've just been wearing this one so much that um, and I also make it asymmetrical, as you can see, but you can wear it like that too. It's really cool if you wear chains and then you wanna wear a pearl. This is really unisex as well, I love it. Um, and then you can like layer it. So if you want like multiple pieces, just place like multiple orders and then add your free gift, you know what I mean? So I love it like with, and it comes in silver too, but I love it with like this layered. You see what I mean? And then you can do, I like it the asymmetrical like that really cool um silver ball chain with a letter and then so there's so many there's like, something for everyone there's something for boys there's something for girls um there's something for they them pieces of shit you know all of the above okay they're for everyone <laughs> okay so don't miss out that promo ends on monday and um you're not gonna want to miss out just like all my promos my promos are the best like i don't have to fight for them like I, you guys just see them you're like wow so yeah real pearls real pearls um i have been wearing this like every single day I never take it off you don't have to it's real so really really pretty i love it and like right now pearls are so in so it's perfect okay so let me tell you guys about that what happened to me literally i look white trash right now i'm not kidding i can't get over how white trash i look okay so um jason like loves friends i has, and has friends that I don't like I just really hate friends I don't like friends I don't like to talk to people I don't like it's just weird I just don't anyway he like oh so he had like some friends in town and like I just did not want to go hang out with them and then I was just tired whatever okay so then he, he was there was another friend who invited us over for like a barbecue and I was like why do, whatever. I just can't like always let him go to, to hang out with his friends alone when I'm invited just like it's just not good for a relationship I have to like pony up you know what I mean like I have to or all of a sudden you become like, you don't have a relationship. You have to do things just like the beach. I have to do things that like, I don't want to do or else you don't make a relationship together. You know what I mean? So like, it's just annoying. Like I would rather just like, whatever. Okay. So I we went to his friend's house and I like these friends. It's like, um, husband, and wife, they have like a baby. The baby's like three or something. Okay. And she, I told her last time I saw her, like they were, came over whatever that I was going through IVF and like whatever. Then she said that like she was gonna also try IVF for the second because they're not getting pregnant, whatever, okay. So I haven't seen her in a while, dude. Listen to this shit. Okay, I go to the house and I'm telling you what I'm wearing. I not wearing any makeup because like I just, I'm, I told you I've been doing this white trash look, which apparently is very white trash. I didn't realize I look like fucking white trash. Okay, I didn't realize that, which now I do. I'm very angry that I look white trash. Okay, so um, I went there and I was wearing what I wear. Oh yeah, okay, I wear little shorts. You know the Brandy Melville shorts? I love it, I live in those. I wore like the Brandy shorts I always wear and I wore a tight like tank top, but with like my PE Nation, like bought whatever that like long jacket over. I, my stomach's flat, okay? I don't have, 
I don't grow out. I grow like wide or something. Okay, so I, I don't look pregnant. Like I don't have a pregnant stomach, okay? It's not like I have like rolls and stuff. I'm a fat fucking cow right now. Like we know this, I'm a fat ass cow. But like, it's not worth like, so no one would think I'm pregnant. I just don't have that kind of a body. Okay, stop, dude. So, um, kind of like told Jason and we gotta get home. Like I was like, cause Jason can sit there for like ever and like talk and like, I just can't. Like if it was me, oh my God. If it was me, like I, why, I just wanna go in someone, if I have to go, I just wanna go in someone's house and just sit there in the corner and just wait till it's done. Like, I don't wanna smell talk. It, I just really can't. It takes, you know what it is too? I can't hear. I told you guys, I'm deaf in one ear. So it's hard because I don't, if there's thing, there's like, she had other friends over. This woman had other friends over. There was kids in the house. Like there was like five little kids like screaming and like playing and I can't hear you. So it's like, I'm sitting there. I don't even know what she's saying. I don't even know what she's saying half the time because like I miss things because I can't hear when there's a lot of people like it's actually so bad that like I can't never I can't walk on someone's left side because someone's right side I have to be on the other side so I can hear them when we're walking somewhere like I it's I cannot hear okay like I really can't so I mean you know what I mean I can hear but you know what I mean so the whole time I was sitting there talking to her I was like it's just so much anxiety for me because I don't like to make small talk filler and I'm not the kind of bitch that even though I want to just sit there and say nothing I don't I go above and beyond and I like am this fake not fake because I come off everyone loves me like you guys know everyone fucking loves me you guys love me even people hate me love me love the fuck out of me of course you do I'm perfect as I am but you know what I mean like I'm a chameleon where where I am the kind of person where I can meet you and I can adjust your personality right away and I do that and it's exhausting because I can never just be myself which is a mute a fucking mute I don't want to oh my god oh my god a fucking mute okay i don't want to talk to anyone i want to be left like it's fine but like i don't want to talk i have nothing to say like i don't it stresses me out like i don't want you okay so i i i i a lot of people like they they are just themselves and it's awkward like if you're yourself you're awkward you need you can't do that if you cannot like conform to the person you're talking to you become the awkward one like what's wrong with them you do know what i mean which sucks but it's true it's like i'm you're the awkward one if you cannot be the chameleon so i just end up being really normal in their eyes but i'm dying inside i'm dying inside i want to go home i want to fucking just go home not kidding i want to go home with Lamal and ming and just sit down on my couch and like watch like amc or like 90 day fiance or like like do something in my house or like just do something I like to do do you know what I mean like I don't want to do that like I don't want to go to this house talk to you what, what am I talking to you I don't understand the, the concept of talking to someone I just don't like like I don't I mean there's only very few people in my life who I want to talk to it's not someone who I don't know I just don't anyway stop so I get in the IVF talk and I can't hear half the thing she's saying so I have to, I'm also very good at pretending like I, I have heard everything they say, even though I really, I swear to God, I don't hear probably half of what they said, but I'm very good at pretending like I have heard that and, or I've heard what they said. And I, I, you know, I'm like, you know, yes, or whatever it is. I, I can't, I can't like, I keep on touching my fucking nose. I'm going to rip myself off my nose off my face. So, you know, it's like I do the whole thing where I'm pretending. And then finally I tell Jason because he would, Jason's the kind of person who he doesn't get social cues. Like Jason's the kind of person who is not a chameleon at all. He will talk to someone and he'll have no idea. He talks a lot too, dude. Like he talks so much. He talks enough for him and I for the rest of the year. So I have to like kind of give him the look because he kind of, he knows that like I don't want to be anywhere, which is fine. Like he's, and he's so obvious. He like, he looks, looks at me like, make sure I'm okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, or, 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 like you know, because, like, he knows I don't want to be anywhere. So, um, he, like, I was, like, oh, like, maybe we should go because I had to do the shrimp. I, I was making ceviche for the next morning for, and I have to get the, the, the shrimp in the fridge so it, like, cooks overnight with a lemon, right? Okay, so, I was, like, we, let's, can we, we should do the, we should do the shrimp, like, at home. He's, like, oh, okay, okay. So, it takes him another five or ten minutes to get out the door because he keeps talking. You know what I mean? It's, like, what are you talking about? Like, what else are we talking about? We've been here for like an hour and a half. We've been here for two hours, okay? So we're going out the door and his friend is like, we're following us out. And he, when it was his wife, his his wife was like, me and me were walking towards the door. Jason was following him. Her and I were still talking a little bit about IVF. Um, the husband comes and he, I think he hears the word IVF or something. He's like, oh, are you pregnant? Yeah. 
So that's what he said to me. And I, I wasn't even offended at that point because I was in chameleon vibe state. I was in very relatable, nice girl, not offended, just super cool, let nice, interested in what everyone's saying and asking questions, not thinking about myself or anything and making sure everyone likes me. Um, vibe, moment. Okay, so I didn't even click. And I was like, oh, just IVF talk. I Then I got home and it clicked. And I'm like, oh my God, did he? And I remember his his reaction was like, oh fuck, I fucked up. Like he shut up real quick. Um, because he, like, you never say that. Even if you see someone with a nine month belly, you don't really say, are you pregnant? Like people should know that unless it's like totally obvious. Like, so he knows that he like fucked up by even saying that I could tell just like the, the, the stun he did, like the stop. When I got home, I thought to myself, oh my God, like I got fucking called out again. Like he thought I was pregnant. I get that he heard about IVF, but I was like, no, we're just talking about IVF. And then he's like, oh, okay. Yeah. We're going to be trying that too. Like it, whatever. It was just like, oh wow. I got called out again for being fat pig. Now people think I'm pregnant. I think it's cause I had no makeup on too. I just look white trash and like calm. I just look like an ugly pregnant person. You know what I mean? I just look dumb. Like I just look stupid. Um, barefoot and pregnant vibe. That's what I just look like. I just like, I know that's, I just need to like, I just don't like, wow. So that's what happened to me. Can you believe it? Like that fucking happened to me. I got called pregnant. <laughs> like, wow. Wow, bitch. You're really like fat ass. Like, wow. It's like not even a joke anymore. And the, the thing is like, I would get it. Like his, his wife is normal size. She's not like fat. She's not skinny. Um, so I don't think he was calling me fat. I really don't. I think he really just thought I was pregnant. Cause like he's, everyone's thinking like, why are you not pregnant? Like you're weird. It's true. It's like, like you guys are married for a year like just have a kid already the fuck is your problem but like no one says that except for me if I was really allowed to be who I was I would say that to me as someone else like why are you not pregnant what the fuck is your problem like what do you like something wrong with you like that's what I want to be able to do in life and I just like because I'm chameleon I can't and it bothers me um so yeah okay and then for those of you who care I'm gonna leave you with my um updated IVF journey so today was like the day that I was waiting today was a day where they were going to call me to tell me how many eggs survived so I'll tell you again because I know I don't like medical terminology I think people that use medical terminology when you're not in a doctor's setting there's you have a screw list it's weird I don't like it because it's like I don't know I don't give a fuck about your personal medical bullshit I think it's like a I think it's something where people like to feel important and special and different so they like to use medical terms and I don't like them. I hate them. I think it's very weird. It's like if you, if it's like if you work in like engineering and you like use engineering terms outside of like engineering, then you're weird. Like, shut up. No one knows what that means. And you sound stupid and you sound like a snob and you just cringe me out. I don't like it. Let's be normal in normal society. I don't like medical shit. It's weird. It's also like a, an attention seeking thing. I just love to like layer everything like this too. I think it's just so sick. Let me show you guys like what I do lately. I actually brought this. So this is like, I, this is like me. I don't know why this is me, but this is like me. Like, like what I've been doing. And then I have like this. Why, I don't know what my problem is. I don't, I make white trash. I don't know. Like that's me. That's like what I'm doing. Like, just like cute. That's like how I sit, like how I like. I like my jewelry and like no makeup and I just look like nice. You know what I mean? That's what I'm doing lately. I don't know. Okay, so let me just go on and tell you guys quickly about um what I'm my medical what I'm, my medical shit. So okay, um I started out with four. I did two egg freezes and I have 13 eggs total and that's because of my age. I should have more, but that's just like typical. Like actually, it wasn't that bad for what we thought. So started out with 13 eggs and then um nine made it out of the thaw. Okay, so anyone out there IVF will know what I'm talking about. Now, from then, we had to wait five or seven days, I forget what it was, to see how many lasted, right? Like, is that called the, that's the blastocyst, right? The blast, stupid, like, dumb words. I don't care about the words, just, where's the child? I don't care about any of this. Am I pregnant or not? That's what I care about. I think I care about the fucking ins and outs. And like, yes, am I pregnant or not? Carrie, like, where's the child? Like, that's what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Like, I don't care about this step by steps. I don't like to wait and I don't care about the medical terminology. Will you be able to get me pregnant with these eggs? That's all I care about. Shut up. I don't care about eggs, embryos, words. I don't care. Just like, get me pregnant or not. I don't need, I stupid. Okay. I hate this fucking medical terms and I hate IVF people. Okay. So they are very obnoxious. So I, um, was like, okay. So then after that, see how I look, 
white trash thing is just really bothering me. It's just so white trash. Okay. Um, so I, um, okay. So then we had to wait. Okay. So the night, oh, stop, I, look, I can't, I look so white trash. So I had to wait five to seven days to see how many lasted the thaw. Is that right? Like you have to wait. Cause they have to like, they have to keep growing. That's what it is. And they have to keep like growing after they defrost them, um, to see which ones last. So that was today. So I got the email today that out of the nine, five are left. Okay. So I called them. And I was like, is that really bad? Cause it seems really bad. They're like, no, for your age, it's normal. Like that seems it's fine. Like that's, that's what we expected kind of thing. So now I've got to wait another seven to 10 days to see, cause they're going to do genetic testing now on these five eggs that are left. Cause these are the ones that like lasted. And then when they last this long, I guess, then they can do the genetic testing and the gender testing. Not that I really care about gender. That's a whole other thing. I think someone asked me like what I'm going to do about the gender. We're going to choose the best egg. Obviously I really want a girl. Like I really do want a girl, but I feel like it's like, I think that he deserves a boy because he wants to pass his name and stuff. And like, that's the right thing to do is to choose the boy. But like, I want to, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to be selfish. Like at the same time, like I'm, I'm really not a selfish person. Like I want to make him happy. Um, you know, I care about a relationship and I don't think he, we haven't really talked about this. I know he wants a boy, but like, I don't know. We'll choose the best egg. Hopefully. Okay. Anyway. So I, um, now we're waiting seven to 10 days to see which ones come like for their grades. So they're going to genetic test these and then they'll tell us. And they're, they're told they based. So I called her, I was like, so what does this mean? She's like, basically she's like, just think of it like one out of three will make it. So maybe this seems like best case scenario. I'll have two embryos at the end of this. And then if this doesn't work, we'll have to fucking do the whole thing over again. And it's just like, it's not even the money, which is so much. It's the fucking time. IVF takes so much time and I don't even want to get pregnant naturally anymore. I just want this to work. Cause I want like my age, I don't want any scares. Like, you know that. So this is what's going on in my life right now. And I figured a lot of you guys, I put this at the end cause I'm, I don't know if you guys want to know or anything. So yeah. Um, and yeah, so I just like went to some um, antique stores this weekend. I got some really cool stuff. I, I'm just really into it. I ordered a new couch because I sold my couches. I ordered a new one, like a smaller one because this one was just too big for my room. So that's going to be um, arriving because I used like, I wanted to like um, buy something on the 4th of July because I knew it was like, you get discounts I like, which you guys should be remembering to shop my line because I have the best promos. Yes, I do. As we all know, because these will be $120 after their, this promo is up. So don't come for me later and be like, oh, can I get that for free? No, you always do that too. And I'm not talking about people who are trying to loot the store. They're still doing it. After all of that, warnings I gave you guys people still did it like they're so stupid it's so rude I'm already being this generous by giving you guys away like literally free pearls and you're gonna try to fucking scam me for five dollars like honestly get the fuck out of my don't you're don't even shop don't even shop on my page I don't want your order I don't want your measly fucking whatever it's 50 bucks I don't okay you're a fucking idiot fucking dumbass trying to fucking scam me oh okay so anyway um do I look better from afar when the makeup maybe that's it I don't know dude but I also been a fat ass pig and been getting um, matchas because matchas are 200 calories, but I'm like addicted to them now with coconut milk. I love them. Like this coconut milk with one pump of sugar-free vanilla. But today, this morning, I forgot to say coconut milk and I got, um, they just put regular milk so I can taste the cow tit and I don't like it. It's like weird. Okay, also just so I wanna show you guys all of your orders, even the free promo. Um, orders will be coming in the yogurt, milky yogurt, um, pack. So cute. It's glittery. Oh, let me show you too. I forgot. This is another option you can do is the hoop and the hoop is really cute. You can take the, um, you get one hoop, you don't get a pair. So you can take off the charm too and put it on like a necklace if you want. So this is a two in one design and the, the hoop is really cute and chunky and it opens like a lock. I like it. It's not just like a regular hoop. Oh, where's the opening? Okay. This one's like hard to close there. Okay. So like that, okay. That's the end. And then, um, so you either get that or then there's this one. So cute. This is like jelly, like hot pink jelly. So we have both of these options and then you get my postcard, of course. So cute. Okay. So don't forget all, you still get the really cute packaging with your orders. All right guys. Well, that's it. Um, I was going to start off this video with a prayer and, um, I wanted, I wanted to smoke a cigarette to be honest, but I forgot. 
So we'll do that next week. Um, I still have time to smoke and drink before we try to implant. I can just have a cigarette. I can have one cigarette. Like, shut up. I can also have a beer. It's not a big deal. Like, I don't have to be getting, I don't have to be drinking a ton of vodka, but I can have a beer. It's not a big deal. You know what I mean? I'm not I'm pregnant right now. Stupid. Okay. Anyway, I love you guys. Don't miss my promo. I'm sorry for looking white trash today. Like, I really thought I looked cute like this, but I think I like, really just had to check myself. Okay. Bye.